Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 52. That is, what is black box testing? Let me answer. Black box testing is a testing performed using the visual functionality of the software application without looking into its internal code implementation. So what does it mean? While performing black box testing, we are performing the testing of a software application by using its visual appearing functionality. Okay, and we cannot see the code written by the developers for developing that software application. Okay, while performing the black box testing, we cannot see the code that is written by the developers for developing that software application. Only by using the visual appearing functionality of the software we are performing testing that is called as black box testing in simple terms. And here I have given a diagram, guys, as you can see, just to make your understanding why we are calling that as a black box, okay, why we are naming that as a black box. So this is a uh, image or diagram, whatever you can say. You see there in middle, there is a box, okay, which is in which color, black color, okay. Inside this black color box, the code that is written by the developers for developing this application functionality is written. That code is not visible to you, okay. You are testing this black box, okay. You are testing this black box. You see here, you are providing some inputs and you are getting some output. This is the process of testing. You are testing this black box, which contains a code, but that code is not visible to you, okay. If a box is in black color, can you see what is there inside the box? No, right? The code is inside the box, guys. Okay, the code that is written by the developers for developing the application functionality is inside the black box. And but while when when you are performing this testing, that is black box testing, you cannot see what is there inside the box. Okay, that's why it is called as black box testing. Okay, that's why it is called as black box testing. Only by looking at the visual appearing functionality of the software, we are performing testing without having any knowledge or access to the internal implemented code that is written by the developers okay we don't have access to that this is called as black box testing there are some other names for the black box testing guys you can also call the black box testing as specification based testing why we call black box testing as a specification specifications means requirements guys client specified requirements okay specifications are in simple terms are known as client specified requirements based on the requirements you will be performing the testing guys. for example i'll show you here We'll open this application. Okay, I'll open an e-commerce application, a sample e-commerce application. If if I ask you to perform testing of this, whether the functionality of the software is working fine or not, what you will do, you will use the visual appearing functionalities of this application. You see, you can see the search box. It is visually appearing. You can see the search uh, button. And uh, here, if I type HP, if I type HP and click on the search button, and in the search results, if I am getting the HP product, that means the test is passed. But how I am testing here? How I am testing here? I'm only testing with the help of the visual appearing functionality of this application software. I cannot see the code that is written by the developers for building this or developing this application functionality or behavior, okay? So that's why it is called as black box testing and also it is called as specification-based testing. Based on the client specifications, I am performing the testing, guys, okay? The client has given me the requirements where the user should be able to search for a product and he should get the product in the search results, okay? I'm testing that with the help of the visual appearing functionality of the software, I'm testing this. That's why it's called as, even called as specification-based testing, okay? Based on the requirements, I'm performing the testing. I'm not worried about what the developers have written the code for, okay, for developing the software. I'm not worried about that. You can also call it as a behavioral testing, guys, okay? You can also call that as, you can also call the black box testing as behavioral testing. Why? Why behavioral? It's not only about the client specified requirements, guys. When you are performing uh, black box testing, it's not only about the client specified, whether the application functionality is working according to the client specified requirements is one thing. Other thing is whether the software that you are building is according to the user needs and expectations or not. Is work, it's behaving according to the user needs and expectations. That's why it is also called as behavioral testing, okay? Using the black box testing, we can test based on the requirements, okay, given by the client, whether the application functionality is working or not. And also, it should behave like the end user, okay? After you release the software into the market, who is going to use? The end user or customer is going to use, okay? So it's be, application is behaving properly according to the end user's needs and expectations or not, okay? That also we test as part of black box testing. That's why it's also called as behavioral testing, okay? And on the top of that, we can also call it as closed box testing, okay? So what is closed box testing, guys? When you say closed box, guys, when you say closed box, here, here we pre represent it as a black box, okay? So why it is also called as closed box means, you see when a box is closed, can you access some item inside the box, no, right? Okay, so let's assume that there is a box which is in a closed state and inside the box, uh, our application code is there, okay? We cannot open the box, right? You have to test the software 
without accessing or viewing the internal implemented code of the application that's that's what we call as black box you can also call this closed box because in a closed box you cannot access right the code that is written for developing the software you cannot access so they gave the name as closed box system also for black box system okay these are the different names of the black box system guys and what are the different testing types in the uh, levels of software testing i have explained about software testing levels right there are four levels of software testing like unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance these are the four levels of software testing in those four levels of software testing okay which levels of software testing falls into the black box testing so system testing and acceptance testing will fall into the black box testing category okay how we perform the system testing generally the software testers will perform the system testing where they will test the entire application as a whole by cross checking according to the client specific requirements will perform testing as a whole will perform testing and while performing the system testing system testing will not uh, have the access to the code that is developed by the developers for building the application okay or we cannot view the code that is uh, written by the developers for building the application okay so that's what is system testing acceptance testing we have the alpha testing beta testing right so all this kind of testing will fall into the black box testing category here beta testing will be done by the end users okay limited number of end users where alpha testing will be done by the the internal team of the company along with the support of the developers and uh, testers at the developer side they will be doing that all this kind of testing you see we will be testing the applications as a whole here here system testing will be performed with an intention of uh checking according to the client specified requirements the developers have developed or not acceptance testing is done to see whether the software is meeting the end users needs and expectations or not okay in the business point of view we'll perform acceptance testing in both the cases guys they are black box testing because uh, we don't access or view the code while performing the system testing or acceptance testing hence they are this these two levels of software testing out of four levels fall into the black box testing category opposite of the black box testing is white box testing okay the opposite of the black box testing is the white box testing guys uh, it's clear cut opposite guys for the black box testing because here in case of white box testing testing is performed when the okay testing while testing is performed we can see the code guys okay code can be visible or accessible while performing the white box testing which is an opposite of black box testing but who will perform this kind of white box testing where code is visible or accessible developers will do that uh, white box testing okay developers will do this kind of white box testing for developers the code is visible and accessible while performing the testing okay so in software testing levels okay there are four levels right in that unit testing integration testing system testing accept i already told you that system testing and acceptance testing will fall into the black box so the remaining two that is unit testing and integration testing will fall into the white box okay while perform while developers performing this unit testing and integration testing they can access or view the code guys okay that's why these two levels of testing will fall into the white box testing category so hope guys you got the answer for what is black box testing in this session so that's all for this session guys in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye